All right, sounds good. Yeah, we'll talk soon. All right, bye. Ha! Starting the vlog at 4.31 p.m. Working on the uh, patio out here. And be careful. Be careful, everybody. If you make fun of rompers, you might end up in rompers. Thank you, Diane. You all know Diane. Big fan of the vlog now for making me laugh at myself. Appreciate it. That was hilarious when I got that. I don't know. Do you have Photoshop skills? That's amazing. Before or after the game, visit. It takes a lot for her to be Cleveland. All right, here goes nothing. Will this fit around the beam up in the carport? Remember I bought these four or five days ago at Home Depot. Ooh, Home Depot. But we're going to give it a shot. Come on, come on. Yes. Yes, perfect. Oh, man. Okay, here we go. Apologies on the view. Apologies on the view. Apologies. Sun is setting. The sun is setting. The lights are almost done. But before the sun sets, I want to answer some questions that are rolling in from yesterday's blog. Remember, the question of the day yesterday was uh, basically, what do you want to ask me? You can ask me anything. So, uh, Diane and Andrew asked the exact same question and obviously they didn't communicate because they live in different countries so it was all about uh, let me just read it real quick what book are you currently reading and then what is your all-time favorite book or books Bridget if you'd like to answer those also I would love to hear uh, and then <laughs> that's exactly what Andrew was gonna ask and first okay what am I reading right now great question as you probably have noticed in the vlog in the house in the living room we have um, we have lots of books. We love our books. <laughs> That's a good line from The Hobbit, I believe. I miss my books. I miss my books. I think Bilbo said that. Like, I just love books. Now, I do enjoy the occasional uh, sporting event on TV. I love the Broncos, as you know. I love watching them. But, man, books, you just, like, mm, you enter in, and it's just, like, you can be entertained and stimulating your good old noggin nonstop. So, okay. Book number one that I'm reading. Well, you already know about this and it's taking a while. It's called the 1927 New York Yankees. You all know I'm a huge New York Yankees baseball fan. In fact, I'm listening to them right now as I uh, put up the lights. So it's called The Greatest of All, the 1927 New York Yankees. Uh, that's what I'm reading right now. Also, you might enjoy this, Andrew and everyone, anyone else in the UK. I'm also reading The Voices of Morbath. So you may not know that I studied history uh, in college, I thought I was going to become a history teacher. That's what I thought my career path was going to be, a, a history teacher. So I love history. And actually, you guys don't even know this, but I love e English history. I really do. Um, so that's a whole other topic for another day, but right now I'm reading The Voices of Morbath, which Morbath, Andrew, you probably know, and many other people, is in the southwest corner of England. Uh, so, two great books right there. Now, on to the other topic, my favorite book of all time. Come on, are you really asking that question? Are you really asking that question? I can't break it down into genres or, or fiction or nonfiction. Holy smokes. So, as you know, I love history. So, okay, <laughs> I've got to collect myself. I do love John Steinbeck. He's an American author. He's not alive anymore, but he wrote uh, fiction, and he wrote a lot about uh, the Great Depression and the Dust Bowl uh, that happened back in the 1930s here in the United States. I love his style of writing. I love his character development. Um, the Grapes of Wrath, a great book. Very, he's probably his most famous book. But I actually prefer The East of Eden um, by John Steinbeck. It's probably definitely a top three book. Um, it's just like, it's human, <laughs> it's the struggle of the human 
experience, essentially, and how we're all fighting to get through this world. Um, and anyway, I digress. John Steinbeck, East of Eden. Okay, now, but this book, so I love World War II history. You should also know that um, this is by Gerda Wiseman Klein, a memoir, All But My Life. And basically, this is about um, a Jewish lady who escaped when she was a young girl from the Nazis. She escaped. And I do love real stories of hero heroism. People that just are badass. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. If I'm ever feeling tired or sad or down or, oh, my, my, my life is so hard, I just read a little bit of this book. This book will make you tough. Like this little girl survived so much during the Holocaust, as did so many others. This book uh, is just one of many, many examples. Okay, I'm going to stop. I could go on and on and on about it. But the, the, this is one of my favorite books, All But My Life uh, by Gerda Wiseman Klein. Uh, it's a memoir, but then what I'm reading right now, here we go, The Voices of Morbath and The Greatest of All. One more task for the day, planting this rose bush right there, planting the rose bush that I bought a couple days ago uh, for the carport. Oh, I'm just grateful to be able to do this, you know, reflecting back to Memorial Day and reflecting back to us uh, making the decision to switch to cash envelopes. So I'm buying this rose, rose bush, which I'll just tell you was 40 bucks. Like, that's not cheap. Uh, but we did it in cash, and um, as you know, it's time to do things, get things done when uh, the boys are asleep, true love is asleep. So, all right, enough talking. Start digging. I'll turn the lights on in about an hour when it gets dark. But it's good to connect to the earth, in my humble opinion, all right? So that's what I'm trying to do with the boys, our boys, Joseph and Seth, with true love, going camping. Like, it's good to get away from this so that we can remember <laughs> that we're human beings and we're part of this bigger plan and this bigger, beautiful world. So, plant stuff. You know, just plant stuff. Go out and plant stuff. It could, be, it could be dandelions in your backyard. Whatever you want to do. Just go, like, dig, get dirty. Get, get dirt under your fingernails, all right? So, anyway, I'm excited. Oh. <laughs> Seek beauty. There it is. Hard. Love each other. And we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. <laughs> oh, what a beauty. Work hard first. Seek beauties first. We're working on it. We're working <laughs> on it. Hey, come on now. No, come on now. I just